Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Richie from Boston. It's still the 19th. It's still January. It's still 2017. And tomorrow still is going to be an effed up day. According to Al Jazeera and a lot of other newspapers, this is the one I happen to pick because I don't really trust media that's in the United States. Now, here we go. According to this article, North Korea threatens U.S threatens a missile launch anytime, and they've moved, allegedly, two ICBMs near American territory. And they threaten a nice surprise for tomorrow, Donald Trump's inauguration. Now, a lot of you know that North Korea probably doesn't have the capability to do this whatsoever, and even more of you probably don't believe that nukes are even real. Okay, now... The predictive programming that this entire article is putting out there makes me believe they want us to believe that something's going to happen tomorrow. And we're at $20 trillion in debt. The entire country's all screwed up. A third of the country's on welfare. The amount of people leaking into the United States that don't belong here that have snuck in by hook or by crook is astronomical. The entire government is totally, totally, totally beyond corrupt. These are evil, evil pedophilic type people. All this stuff, I mean, including the video I put up earlier today, is basically pointing to these guys want us to believe something's going to happen tomorrow. So what I'm going to tell you is pay attention. Don't get caught with your pants down. Be ready for this. I'm not going to D.C. Nobody else should go to D.C. It just doesn't make any sense. You know what I mean? They got almost a 30,000 man army there to protect the government. Why? You know what I'm saying? And then stuff like this. This is all by design. I don't necessarily believe in nukes ever since. And I know some of you guys are nuclear technicians or you've worked on a sub or whatever that. I hear you. I hear you. Some of the guys I serve with deal with nukes. But I still can't understand how we bombed Nagasaki. And I can't think of the other name right now. Seriously? Whatever. I can't believe how we dropped Fat Man and Little Boy, but yet those places are both thriving communities right now. You dig? What happened with all the radiation and such? How come you can't go anywhere near Chernobyl? You see what I mean? It doesn't matter. What the point of this video is, is these guys are putting this threat out here. They own the media. So if it's in there, they approved it. So... I would be cautious. You should be cautious. Everyone should be cautious. Even you trolls. Richie from Boston. Pay attention. It's getting ugly. I'm out.